I was home on, on leave uh, after graduating from my elementary flying training school. When I came home, the, there was a uh, American in an Air Cobra flying to Edmonton. And when he got over the south edge of Wetaskiwin, he got into trouble in the plane. The plane caught fire in the air. He bailed out, and the plane crashed in Gables Field, the next field south of Wetaskiwin. And it pretty well went straight into the ground. The American Air Force came down and picked up all the parts of the plane that were above the ground. The engine was about 15 feet into the ground, and it was wedged into the, into the ground. This, this was in the winter of 1942. The ground was frozen around the top, and they left the engine in the ground. And in, air cobras are made so that the cannon in front of the engine so the cannon was in the ground further down than the engine. I was on a few days leave, and I thought I would dig this out. I kept digging around the engine and, until I got the engine loose. I remember when I was digging the engine out, somebody threw a cigarette in the hole, and there was an explosion from fumes that had accumulated in the hole and I, I, I jumped out of that hole so, so, so fast that uh, I wasn't sure whether the explosion had blown me out of the hole or I, I had jumped out of, on my own accord. Then my, my father made arrangements with Wetaskiwin Motors. They loaned uh, their tow truck, and uh, myself and my father, we, we lifted the engine out of the, ho- out of the hole. Once the engine came out, well, then we could get the, the cannon, which was a 37 millimeter, and then there was also some 50 caliber machine guns in the hole. We uh, lifted them out. Then we figured that we'll contact the Air Force, and they picked up the engine and the, the 37 millimeter cannon, and uh, we gave them most of the ammunition, but we kept a few, a few shells, and cannon bullets, and and I still have those in in my garage at at my house. 